If you love coffee, you are gonna love today's dessert. We are going to show you how to make our easy version of tiramisu. This is a no-bake icebox cake. We're gonna do three layers of this, but I had my husband make his favorite coffee. Yep. I'm gonna show you everything you're gonna to need to make this first off, and then we're gonna start building this one up. Simple, easy, and delicious. You're gonna need strong coffee. You wanna make sure that it's cold. Heavy whipping cream. Now the authentic recipe calls for lady fingers. If you can find those, then you can certainly use those. Now we don't usually find them and we use biscotti. And that's, biscotti. Yeah, this right here, just the original. And they come in an eight pack, so you'd need two boxes. And they come individually wrapped like this here. They're a nice, hard, kind of a cookie-like consistency. Good for Yes, yeah, so they'll be good for dunking. You're going to need some mascarpone cheese. Mascarpone. It's kind of a creamy cheese here. And if you can't find that, later on I will tell you how you can substitute for that. You're going to need some powdered sugar. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then you're going to need some cocoa powder. For the recipe that we're going to be making today, we're going to be using an 8x8 baking dish. Now, if you want to make a bigger one and make a 9x13, then you would just double your recipe here. And call me. I'll and come help you eat it. He'll come help you eat it. <laughs> we're going to go ahead now and start making that mascarpone cream layer. So what we're going to do, you need a large bowl, and we're going to put in two cups of heavy whipping cream. We're going to take an electric hand mixer and I'm just using the regular beaters and we're going to beat this heavy whipping cream for one minute. Okay, to the bowl we're going to add one third cup of powdered sugar. and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. That's good. Little extra. Little extra. Won't hurt. Now what we're gonna do is continue beating this on a medium high speed until we have soft peaks. We have soft peaks here. This is really good consistency. We're going to add the mascarpone cheese now. This is eight ounces. You can also substitute seven ounces of cream cheese and two tablespoons of sour cream. Just bring them both to room temperature and then blend those together. And that'll give you the, almost the same taste and texture. So we're going to add that. Now we did bring this to room temperature and make it really soft. And then we are just going to beat this one more time, just enough to blend the mascarpone cheese into the whipped topping. Now it should have the consistency of like a cool whip. So you wanna do it really quick, just enough to blend it together. All right, and if you need help <laughs> with the last of it, just give it a try. It's really good, it's yummy. Mm, what do you think? Mm, that's good. Mm, that's good. All right. We're going to take this, we're going to set it aside, and then we're going to start building up our tiramisu icebox no-bake dessert. What we're going to do is place our two cups of cold coffee. Now, I'm using a pie plate so that I can really get the biscotti or the lady fingers into the dish. Okay, we've got our biscotti all ready to go. Got our coffee just in our flat dish here. And then we've got our eight by eight baking dish. So we're gonna dunk it in and roll it all over in the coffee really quickly, you guys. I would roll it one more time through there. You don't wanna get it too mushy to where you can't pull that out. And then you're gonna lay it in your baking dish. Like this? Yep. So just push it in, dunk it around just a few times. 
and then you want to kind of put them in the same order. There we go. So as long as you soak them enough, but you don't want to over soak them. So if you want to roll it around a few more times, you can, you can tell when you're rolling around, if it starts to get too soft, that's when you want to pull it out. And it starts to get mushy. Mm -hmm. But it will suck up that coffee. Now he's, he's just wearing a glove on his hand. Okay, so we have our eight coffee-soaked biscotti in our dish here. What we're going to do is place half of the mascarpone cheese mixture on top of the coffee-soaked biscotti. And then we'll just smooth that out. And then what we're going to do is another layer of the biscotti. We're going to soak them in the coffee and place them on top of the cream mixture here. And then just take your biscotti, roll it into your coffee. Put it like this again? Yep. We're going to now bring over the rest of the mascarpone cheese cream mixture and we're going to place that on top. Like that? Yep. Just kind of dollop it everywhere and then that will be, it'll be easier to spread. Alright, so I'm just going to use my offset spatula and then just smooth it out. We're going to get a paper towel. We're going to clean up the edges before we finish this off. The the final step to our no-bake icebox tiramisu dessert is some cocoa powder. I've got a small little sieve here and what we're going to do is just place some in here. I'm going to do it over a plate because it's going to start right away and I don't want a big clump right on my dessert here. So I'm just going to put about one and a half tablespoons and bring it over to my cake and gently tap it to cover it up. Alright, we're going to cover the whole dessert with it. There we go. Okay. Cocoa powder Thomas style. Fine, I'm just going to take a paper towel and then just clean off the edges there so we don't get cocoa powder on everything. Alright, what do y'all think? I think it's time to eat no, you're just fixing to get a rude awakening. The sad news. <laughs> We're going to place this in the refrigerator for at least four hours to set up. We can also go overnight if you'd like. Yeah, not. Nice. All right, put down in the comments, should I just go up to four hours for him or overnight? Oh, it's only going to be four, <laughs> so it doesn't matter about your comments. It doesn't matter. Okay, guys, we're going to see you back here, and we're going to cut into this, and Thomas is going to give it a try. Might even wait five hours. But... It's been four hours. We're ready to dive in. I've got my knife. I'm going to cut a piece for us. Okay, you can see the layers in there. The easiest a tiramisu dessert. No bake icebox cake. What do you think? Mmm. That's freaking good. Is it rich with coffee? Mm-hmm. What do you mm. think about that filling? That mascarpone cream filling. Mmm. That is good. That is tiramisu. So y'all can use the biscotti or you can use the lady fingers. And when you dunk them, just be careful how long you leave them in the coffee, okay? Because <laughs> yeah. it can get really mushy and then it's going to get really hard to put into mm -hmm. their dessert. <laughs> All right. Wow. We got the kids down here ready to eat some too. They love coffee, so they're going to really love this one. Give me a thumbs up on my version of tiramisu. Comment down below. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. 
I'm on Facebook and also check out my recipe blog www.catherinesplates.com for many more of my recipes. We will see you on the next episode. Bye. <laughs> My goodness, is there any left? <laughs> there won't be. <laughs>